Emperor's E-190F freighter has just achieved a major milestone. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has officially certified the E-190F, marking a new chapter in Emperor's passenger-to-freighter conversion program. In addition to the aircraft itself, the cargo loading system, developed by U.S. Cargo Systems, has also received FAA certification as of September 2024. The Emperor Freighter aircraft can now enter the American market without obstacles, potentially posing a threat to Boeing's business in the freighter segment of the Boeing 737. Emperor is actively identifying potential opportunities in the cargo market, both in the U.S. and globally. Major cargo operators like FedEx, UPS, and DHL could enhance their operations with these aircraft in regional markets. Recently, Emperor gained access to the Chinese market, receiving approval from the Civil Aviation Administration of China for the E-190E2 and E-195E2 models. This marks a significant milestone in Emperor's achievements and may encourage other countries to adopt these aircraft. In March 2022, Emperor announced its plans to enter the cargo market by offering conversions of E-190 and E-195 passenger aircraft into freighters. These conversions are expected to make their first flights in 2024, with certification anticipated later that year. The E-190F will have a payload capacity of 10,700 kilograms, 23,600 pounds, while the E-195F will be able to carry 12,300 kilograms, 27,100 pounds. In May 2023, the company secured its first order for 10 aircraft from Lessor Nordic Aviation Capital, which will be delivered to Astral Aviation as the launch operator. In addition to the aircraft, the cargo loading system, developed by U.S. Cargo Systems, received FAA certification in September 2024. This achievement follows the E-Freighter certification by Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency in July, with approval from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency expected later this year. The E-190F freighters will bring notable benefits to the air cargo market, boasting 40% more volume capacity than previous models, three times the range of large cargo turboprops, and up to 30% lower operating costs than larger narrow-body aircraft. With a maximum structural payload of 13,500 kilograms, when combining capacity under the floor and on the main deck, the E-Freighter is set to play a crucial role in meeting the increasing demand for regional cargo transport. Thank you for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Emperor's freighter segment aircraft. Do you think it will succeed in the cargo market? Share your opinions in the comments below. Introducing Jetline Marvel's first ever aircraft encyclopedia, a must-have for aviation enthusiasts. Dive into a world filled with stunning images and fascinating details about the most iconic commercial and fighter aircraft. Explore the skies from the comfort of your home with this exciting collection. Now available on Amazon.